we could see a few. So I do want to bring Mariel back in right now to talk a little bit more about just what this cap is and how it uh, will play a big factor in our weather tomorrow. Yeah, huge factor. It, it'll be the difference between seeing storms or not seeing anything at all. And, and what that is, it's whenever we have thunderstorms trying to form, we have unstable air trying to rise. Rising unstable air is what forms thunderstorms every time we see storms. But here is what's happening tomorrow. We actually have an elevated warm layer of air that is stable. So as this air is trying to rise, it's going to be stopped by this layer of air. That's what's going to significantly limit the potential for thunderstorms to develop. Now there are a few ways for us to break the cap or overcome this in order to see thunderstorms. First one is air heating up enough to break through that cap. The second one is a disturbance that moves through overhead that provides enough lift for uh, that unstable air to overcome the cap. And the third and what could happen tomorrow is a front or a dry line moving in, providing that extra lift needed to break the cap. And we have that potential for a dry line and a front to set up tomorrow. That's why we have to be extra cautious when we're looking at that uh, at that coming in.